Hello viewers, welcome again to my YouTube channel. I'm still your boy Engineer Wisdom and I'm here with uh, Engineer Daniel. Okay, Engineer Daniel is my colleague, you know, he's a very good friend of mine. So guys, today we're going to be showing you guys a setup of a kind of a router. Yeah, you've been familiar with network devices, uh, a special kind of uh, different type of routers which is part of a network device. But in today's video, there's a unique kind of router which is called a cloud router. So this router I'm introducing to you guys today is uh, an ingenious cloud router uh, N600, that is the series, ESR600. This one we have here. So guys, this router does many things, okay? You can connect your uh, IP camera to this router directly. You can store videos, you can store files, you know? You can store, uh, you can install an FTP server to this router. So just calm down, follow us along as we do this setup and you are going to learn a lot from this video. Thank you guys and uh, let's go to today's business. Okay guys, now this is the Ingenious N600 series. It has uh, four Ethernet ports, which each one carries a, a gigabit port. That means you can go from 10 Mbps, 100 Mbps and 1000 Mbps. Then, and it has an a one port, which is always called, so most routers call internet port, but it's a one port. Now, we're going to start the setup now. First of all, we need a power, no, power to it. It makes use of a 12 volts, 3.5 amp power. So, and the reason for that, in case you're, you're making use of a hard drive, you can power both the hard drive and this, the router and the hard drive. Next up, we need a router, but in this case we are making use of our MiFi, which has an Ethernet port. So, this goes here, our Ethernet port goes here, also to our one port, because it's going to supply internet to our device. Next up, we're going to connect to our system. Our device now is powered on. We're going to wait for a minute for it to power on. Now we've connected our devices. Everything is connected. Our router, our Wi-Fi now is showing internet access and our one uh, port is showing signal that it's connected to the router and uh, external network. So what next we're going to do now? We're going to connect our flash drive or hard drive or our hard drives we're going to use. We are making use of a flash drive. Now I want to connect two different flash drive so that I can access any one of them from wherever I want. Connected. So, what next is now to assess our interface for our engineers and set up and make our configurations for it. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to input the IP address of the router, and our default IP address is now open so I'm gonna just go straight to our network setting because normally you have to go through the normal setup wizard but let's go to our network settings default IP address admin okay 
that is showing our one cable connected that's one connected and our wireless also up now it's saying two device connected but what what i want to do first of all i'll have to go and set up my ip address the personal ip address i want to use for my device so i'll come to set up network settings and now i'll come to my system go to my lan now most routers make use of um, 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1 as their default IP address. So I want to change mine. So in case of the in, uh, internet or DSL modem is 1.1. So I'm going to make use of 88.1. Yeah, 88.1. 88100. That's our DHCP server. Fine. Okay. It's reloading right now, and after the reload, it will have to connect to the to the router back. Okay, as you can see, our IP address on the search bar is now 88.1. Now, now we're going to impute our password, which is still a default. Now. You already know the process of changing a, uh, a router login details so you have to go there and change it okay now we're going to set uh, enable our cloud storage or ensure for eng news you go to setup now you see usb port down here now they have other options there on the sideline there where you can set up parental control guest network ipv6 firewall vpn for those who have done ccnp or ccna you understand that now we're going to our usb port then we'll see end share okay it's already enabled here file sharing already enabled here now the file server which is ftp enable ftp now we have to set ftp remote access enable now for this port number we are going to change it because in order to uh, give us what we call um, a strong and uh, secure um, security so what i'm going to use i'm going to make use of 8080 now i'll say apply okay Make use of 9000. 9000. It rejected 8080 because it has another, uh, already has a port 8080 for the uh, HTTP. So the, we made use of 8080, 9000, uh, 9, and 10,000, but it was, uh, according to the router itself, has already been occupied. Now it's written there that 1991, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Okay. Now to reload first, then I'll have to set up my own login for it so that someone cannot just access my uh, cloud storage and impute admin and admin and access the files um, that I have there, which is will need to be secret. Now I'm putting my own default uh, user login, which is.
can see it always reloads after setting up to be sure everything is okay. So um, done with that. So the next thing we are going to do will make sure I enable DLNA Media Server for videos so that you can share videos as well. In case you want to share videos and it needs to be enabled. Now we're done with our NShare or our cloud setup. So next up next up we can now go to here to the top tab and check the USB port or IP camera if you want to connect an IP camera to it. So that I can use the router, you don't need an app or any other thing to access your IP camera. You can just access it directly with your cloud router. So let's see, let's reload this uh, interface again. Now, for that's to tell you our cloud setup is is done. Normally, when you impute it, it doesn't bring out this interface. If this interface doesn't come up, then your cloud storage has not been set up yet. You can't access your cloud storage. If I want an IP IP cam viewer, I'll click here. If I want a storage sharing, I'll click here. If I want to manage my router, I click up there. So let's go to storage sharing start now you can see the two memory card the two flash drives are inserted are already showing anyone i want to access now i can just go here click we brought it out let's go back if i want this now what i'm view, what i'm viewing is locally this is not via the internet yes yet we'll show you how to view through the internet as well so now i have a file in this um, memory card and this flash i want to check music now if i want to download this file i just click okay now it's telling me my internet download manager is not functioning Just like I'm streaming online now. If I want to download the video, the music, I can come and click and download. Okay, turn my ID and internet download manager is having an issue. But I can still download it on my phone and download it. I'm okay. living proof of what the mercy of God can do. Download it. So this process that is locally. That's when I'm talking about locally. With when you are within the area, you are connected locally, not internet wise or one. Now, for you to be able to call and view the file via the internet, you need an internet access. We already have an internet access. Then what else you need is the each share has a domain ddns we call it a ddns dynamic domain name system which is this it's written at the back of the router now ours is 1e 5a4a5.angnewsddns.com now let's try and assess it via the internet now as you can see it brought out our uh, options for our uh, uh, cloud storage or our cloud router. Now, if you have an IP camera connected to the to the router, yours is just to come to your IP cam viewer and view, and you can pick up whatever you want to pick up from there. Now, but what you want is our storage sharing. Now, this is via internet, not local. So we say start because we click it. Now it has brought out our storage devices which is the this is the first one the are 8 gig and this is for 4 gig you can make use of up to 10 terabyte 50 terabyte storage here 
to store your device and it's advisable to use an SSD and a solid state drive that will be better and faster faster processing but for a normal HDD it takes a bit of time to process and bring out the document or file now since our USB drive uh, USB flash drive I think is an SSD that's a solid state drive you can click And also, you need a strong internet service. Let's go back. This is not where we want to access. What did you, there's nothing in that file. So let's go to the folder. It's very fast. You click music, open. Then let's see. Uh, go down. Our next stop is let's upload a file. We want to upload a file. Let's say I want to upload a document. I can come to the now. You have upload, move, delete, or create a directory. Create a directory is like creating a new folder. Now, what I want to do, I don't want to create a directory in my music folder. I can now say go back and parent directory. That's to go back to the previous. So I'll create a folder now called uh, document. Document. I want to upload a document up here. That says okay. Operation is success. Now I click on my document and I say upload. Choose a file. Do not take me to my computer. Here I can check for a document. Um, um, let's check another document. Documents. Not accessible. Access. I'm using a solid state drive, so everything is smooth. But if you have a poor uh, internet service and you are making use of an SSD, then so it takes it takes time to process all this information. Now, if I want to still access the file, I click on it, say download. I have to still download it. Now, in a case where I'm not with my in with my system or my laptop, I can make use of my smart device like your phone or a tablet to access it. Now, without those, uh, with that you can make use of the N share or you can even access it via any web page with your phone. Okay, that's okay, guys. I hope you learned something from this video. So like we said, you can access this uh, router via your, your, your mobile phone, your system, your desktop, from any part of the world, wherever you are. If there's any other question, or maybe any challenge you have on this, I want to ask any question, don't forget to drop it on the comment section. And please like our video and subscribe if you have not done that. More uh, videos will be coming from us. We really have a lot to give to you guys.